Today I'm working on a, a France 2006 Ford Fusion. Uh, it's got the 2.3. The valve cover gaskets are really, really bad leaking. As you can tell, it's uh, really dirty. Um, this uh, hose piece that goes over the top, there's a uh, 10 millimeter screws right there, bolts, nuts that go on. And then there's the other ones that go on it, and these are the uh, the uh, bolts for the coils. There's the coils there. So um, you have these little push on for the wiring harness. Take a screwdriver or a little claw tool, pry them up. I've unplugged everything. Um, try to clean up a little bit. I don't want to drop any trash down in there. And then um, you have one connection right here for the wiring harness and then another one right here. And then I think there's another one right back here that uh, clip onto uh, threads. And then this is for your uh, breather. So you just have to squeeze these little things and snap that off. And I think everything else back here is clear. So I've got to take this off, this off, and this little, looks like a Christmas tree holding this wiring heart. And this thing is on there. So I may have to undo a few more things, like these Christmas trees here, uh, to get this loose, so I can uh, move that out of the way. And then I believe, uh, let's see, this is a eight millimeter, eight millimeter bolts for the actual valve cover itself. So they're all, they're all not very. They're, they're snug, but they're not tight. So I'm going to uh, clean clean some more of this channel out a little bit, and then get this off here and these two connections back here. And um, okay, so after a little bit of fighting, I was able to uh, break these loose, and there is a little Christmas tree right there. For that, I've got to get this one and then this back one and then get this hose disconnected. Um, basically, I, I have a little claw tool, but I couldn't find it, so I just use these wire strippers and I just happen to get the edge up underneath and not squeeze them, but just enough to grip it and then pry it up with these. So I stuck it in, stuck it in there and then just kind of pried it up. You could probably use a needle nose, but these are really thin, got edges on them, really help to get that in there. So um, let me get this one off and this one back here and then get this hose off. I'll be right back. All right, I got this off. I just uh, pried it up. It came right off. The same thing with this. It just came right off of that stud right there. And then on this, there's a little barb underneath this little green barb right here. I just pulled it back down like that and it just slid off of this. So all I have to do now, since I don't have my tripod with me, I have to just loosen all these bolts and make sure that the uh, valve cover is ready to come off and I'll try not to drop anything down here. And I've got a new seals, new seals for the spark plugs because I think these two, this one and this one, had uh, oil, a little bit of oil down in the cylinders. So I'll probably take the spark plugs out after I get this off and get it cleaned up really good. So I'm going to break these bolts loose and uh, I'll bring you back. All right, I've got it broke loose. It's, uh, it was tight on there. But I was able to uh, wiggle, wiggle. Finally got it loose. Now I've got to take all these bolts out. And this piece is a seal that goes around there. This stays in the, on the engine, um, but like I said, all the all the bolts are captive. They're not coming out, which is great. So I don't have to worry about dropping anything, getting all these pulled out. So I can pull this off without any kind of 
issues other than this little piece right here is right there is kind of awkward so I gotta put the phone down get this off and uh, I'll show you what it looks like well there it is it's off the time and chain is good and tight the cam loads lobes look really good uh, no discoloration um, there's some oil down in there I've got to uh, get out any of these spark plug holes I'm going to get the oil out but uh, there's the uh, valve cover and I'm going to uh, clean that up and then the gaskets I'll go down here there's a gasket there these gaskets here there and then the one that goes all the way around and kind of see where it's really really flat so it's past its time. There's probably a gasket in there for that. And that's an oil filler cap. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean this up really good. And uh, I'll bring you back when it's clean. And then we'll start putting the uh, gaskets on. Well, there it is. It's uh, amazing what you can do with some brake clean and some heavy-duty silicon and an old toothbrush and pick. Just got this little angle pick and a good rag to wipe it down and uh, still not perfectly clean, but it's better than it was. Stupid dog barking over there. But anyway, now I'm to put the gaskets in. So there's the new gaskets installed. This top one is a little flaky. You got to put it on like two or three times to get it. And these are the old ones and they are really, really hard. And here's the other one. It's uh, compressed and hard. It's really not rubber. This is these new one. New uh, these new ones. The new one is really soft, supple, and it goes on one way and very easy. Uh, take your pick, wherever my pick is. Take your pick that has a real sharp point, and you can dig into the old gasket and pry it out. Uh, really helped uh, screwdriver will work but a pick you can jab it in there and pry it out helps quite a bit so there's a new gasket and um, I will put that on here in just a second and start tightening it down so what you want to do is clean off around the ceiling surfaces and get any oil that's in there out of the spark plug wells clean around the surfaces and then you're ready to put your valve cover back on so there they are. I got all the screws in and I used a uh, quarter inch ratchet and I just basically put it on a bolt and I went as tight as I can with my thumb over over the end so I can't like really torque these down like you know to break anything. So I just use a quarter inch ratchet and goes around and got them all snug by hand that's probably about as tight as they need to be i don't think they need to be super duper tight um there is metal in there for the uh the bolts to go through so now i've got all the bolts tightened up and snugged all i have to do is reassembly and i'll bring you back in just a second so i've got all the wires pushed back down to where they need to go everything is snapped in on plugged in the only thing i have is my coils my four coils and this sensor here which i will go ahead and plug in now and then this is probably the knock sensor maybe i'm not sure so all i'll have is my four coils and the coils are right there i've just kind of wiped them off to get the oil off of them um, each of the spark plug wells are clean except for these two where the uh, gasket was really, really bad. So uh, all I have to do is put the coils back in, snug them down, and uh, should be done with this. Didn't take me long. I've only been out here for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. So um, I'll bring you back when I get everything assembled. So it's all back together, it's all running. Put this dug back on there, cleaned it up. There's a bolt there, and there's two bolts back there, and it just kind of hooks into the back. 
and all everything's plugged back in like it was. There's no check engine lights on, and uh, he's got a he needs to clean up this car because that's all clean. This is all clean. Coil he needs to clean up the rest of it. But a very straightforward job. All you'll need is a um, this is a eight millimeter. And I also have an 8mm in the uh, quarter inch and a 10mm, uh, quarter 3 8 is all you need. So an 8 and a 10, pretty much you can do this whole job in an afternoon, 20, 30 minutes is all you'll need. I spent most time cleaning, getting all this crap out of here, this valley, and just cleaning up everything else and getting the oil that was in those two middle sections, getting the oil out. But other than that, everything else was uh, just tighten all your bolts up, clean off where you take the uh, valve cover off. Just clean up the, uh, the the metal where it goes to the head, basically, and um, put the new gaskets in, and hopefully no more leaks. Not bad for 176,000 miles. All right, thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody.